Hey guys, so I just wanted to share a really quick video because I'm doing a very small, very small giveaway related to hair items and they're all in this box right here. So I had a few extra items and some things that I wasn't using, so I just wanted to do something to kind of give back to people. So I'll explain later after I show the items kind of how to enter, but this is just very small and just a, a little thank you to people. And I've been loving our these cross earrings from Amazon. I believe these were maybe $12, but they're kind of that huggy look, but without the difficult huggy clasp that I have a really hard time with. They're just really affordable and really cute, so I'll link those down below. And then I'm also gonna do an updated haul on really, really comfortable bras from Target that can be used for maternity, nursing, postpartum, and then even if you're not pregnant or nursing, just a really comfortable bra. This is one of them, and I got about six from Target. Uh, I had to throw away a ton of my bras that were like tattered and the lining came off and all of that and I found a whole bunch of bras that are just absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna link this one, but then I'm gonna do a separate video on my favorite really comfortable bras from Target. Let's go ahead and see what's in the giveaway. The first item that I'm including is this brush. This is just a basic rat tail comb, and I've talked about this. It is such an essential when wearing a wig. I have not used this one on my head at all, so it is clean, but the rat tail part is really essential for like getting under the lace, getting hair out, even if you're just using a topper. Kind of just like, also, let's be real, if you have an itch, sometimes I just like scratch my scalp <laughs> if you have an itch, but really just to kind of push hair back, push hair in. I am wearing a lace top wig right now. This is from Highline Wigs, and this is a brunette one in a mushroom beige color. So I really love this wig, um, it's one of my favorites, but this right here is an essential. So if you are new to wigs, if or even if you have a topper, you can definitely benefit from this. This next item is something that I got from Amazon. I'll link that down below as well, but I had a few of these in a pack and it's this giant kind of claw that you can put in your hair. And I use this for my bio hair and also for my wigs. So sometimes with my bio hair, I'll put, if I'm just getting ready in the morning or whatever, I'll use a big clip like this. Not that it needs a big clip because there's not that much hair, but I just like how big this is, this black one. Um, and I'll put it up and then I'll put a headband on to wash my face and do all that. Or I'll do it with my wigs if I'm trying to like curl a certain piece of my hair and I want some up, I'll use a big one, especially if the wig is really long. But I've just found that this really giant claw is just really great for wigs. This next product is just a wet brush. It's a mini detangler, and this one was actually part of a bride tribe, so like a bridal collection. So it says bride tribe on it, and it has some flowers, but these are really great for your bio hair, so you can, you know, wash, I mean, brush your hair whenever it's wet. You just wanna be really careful. Um, I know there are tons of different people that say different things about whether you should wash a wig or a topper when it's wet. And I definitely would say detangle it before you wash it, but I am gonna have a whole other wig washing video where I kind of explain what I do. But this is good on wet hair or dry hair, and it's really great to just throw in the purse, so I'm throwing one of these in there as well. This right here is an essential if you're getting into wigs, and I don't always wear one, but if you're wanting to kind of test one out, this is a really good one to try. This is a basic, uh, kind of like a blonde, velvet um, wig grip and what I really like and about the front of it is it has this uh, lace part right here so let's say you want to part your hair right here you would put the wig grip on and kind of adjust it and move it over so that way when the wig was there you wouldn't have this like dark piece coming through the part or anything like that so this is just a really basic wig grip it velcros in the back and so if you're new to wigs, this is a really great way to kind of just see if they work for you. And then you can venture out into different wig grips if you need it. But wig grips definitely work for a lot of people and they help keep the wig in place. So definitely had to include this. The next thing I'm including is just this sleep eye mask. I have not used this as well. So even though it doesn't have a package, I have not used this. This is just nothing related to hair, but it's just a cute little eye mask. So I'm going to throw that in there as well. I have some ear cuffs off Amazon as well, and I am gonna put another one in here. This is a little heart gold, heart-shaped gold one. 
I do have two piercings and this first one has the cross earrings I was telling you about. And then the second one is also another Amazon Huggy or yeah, Amazon Huggy, but this is a pierced ear. Sometimes I like to put little cuffs like kind of right here, either up top or to the side right there. And I don't want to get those pierced. I have no intention of getting those pierced. So I just love these little kind of gold, like kind of push on uh, cuffs. And I think they make it look really cute and just really trendy and fashionable. So I have one right here, but I'm going to put another one in there and I have not used either of these. The last item that I'm putting in here is actually a hair piece. This is not real hair. This was from Amazon and this color did not work for me at all. You can tell it's too light, a little bit too auburnish, kind of caramel and almost kind of looks like it has some strawberry-ish pieces throughout it. I did get a darker one and that almost matches my hair color, but I would say with this particular kind of synthetic hair scrunchie, the hardest part, it really is just finding the right hair color. It is really hard to tell online, especially from a site like that. So I did get two, I'm keeping one, even though it still is a little bit too light for my hair, but I just really think this is such an affordable option. Let's say you're wanting a pony topper, from Highline Wigs or a place like that and you just can't afford it or you're waiting to find the right one. If you just want something to get by with, I recommend one of these kind of ponytail things and you'll just throw your hair up and put it in a high pony. I am gonna do a video with the one that I bought. The only thing I would point out is that the texture coming off of it is kind of like silky straight. And so if you have curly hair like mine, it might not mesh totally. So you might need to wrap some hair around or put a, a scrunchie on top of it to kind of mix your curly hair with these straight pieces coming off. But if you're just looking for something around 20 bucks or less to kind of put up in your hair and to kind of go, add some extra kind of fluff in the back, I think this is a really good idea. Okay guys, so I want to keep the entry really easy because I just don't have time to be looking multiple places. I've never done a giveaway on YouTube before and this is just such a small one. So all I want you to do is just like the video and comment down below and tell me how a wig has changed your life or something about wigs, why you want to get into alternative hair, what is the best tip you've learned. Just kind of share something about yourself, about why you, how alternative hair has changed your life. I just want to keep it positive and hair related and then I will choose some uh, someone randomly from there. You have to live in the United States, in the continental United States. Unfortunately, Canada and even Hawaii and some of the other countries, there's just been a lot of difficulty shipping there. I have tried to sell some of my wigs to people on there on Instagram, and especially with COVID and a million other things, there are just a lot of complications. So if you live in the United States, then please enter. If you don't, I'm really, really sorry. Um, but hopefully in the future when things are just not crazy, then that will be a little bit easier transaction going back and forth between countries. I'm going to pull at the beginning of next week and then I'll announce kind of on my community, either my stories or my posts and on my Instagram who won. And I really hope that whoever gets it just enjoys it. I hope in the future to be able to do more things like this and be able to do bigger things to be able to give away. But for now, it's just this really small one. Thank you for watching and I will reply to your comments down below. Bye.